Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and finally this is the last episode in the Ham International Jumbo series. So in the last episode we fitted the band switch in which is a six way we fitted a relay board in to simulate the band the, the original band switch and now we're going to be fitting extra bands to the actual radio itself. So let's get started. So the back of the band switch for this modification to work. We're going to have to fit some extra components. So why the six position band switch in the relay board and the overkill with the new regulator? Well, you should know me by now. What we have here is another board that I've been working on. So this is the Jumbo Edition and it's bigger because there's more space inside the Jumbo. It's got a bigger pick chip and this one should give us minus 80, minus 40, plus 40, UK 40 and alphas all on one board. We don't need minus 5kc because a kc shift will get us down. So that's what we're going to be fitting. So to start off with, we have to remove our PLL chip. So with the aid of the desoldering gun, it makes this job nice and easy. Luckily we've got very few cut traces to deal with. Seen the modification before it actually used the wires from the channel change. So we just need to remember just to reconnect this last one back up. As that one was cut for the EPROM modification. And then once both sides are unsoldered carefully lift the PLL chip out of the radio and this one has a date code of 45th week of 1980 so we're going to try our best not to damage this PLL so there's our PLL removed So the first wires we're going to connect up are for the alpha channel, so the plus 10 KC. So we're going to use the ANL switch. So I've cut the two tracks on that. And there's our board installed. And with the alpha switch connected, which was just two wires, it's 435. 445 so that's the alpha channels on the A and L switch so the next thing is the wires to the pick chip now the minus 80 and the minus 40 come off what is the mid band crystal in this so for this to work we need the mid-band crystal active. So with a couple of diodes in place, we can select the two bands below it, but have the mid-band enabled as well. And we need to do that for the high, uh, the super high and the UKFM because they come off the high crystal. So two more diodes in place. Now to drop the voltage down from 12 volts, we need to add some resistors. So we get roughly five volts to the pick chip. So some 12Ks 
drop it to 5.5 .5 volts we should do nicely and there it is wired up starting to get a little bit of a nest behind there so let's just do a quick check and everything was working on the super low so let's have a look at some frequencies now nothing's aligned yet so so that's, that was super low that's low band got mid band high band super high band and UKFM obviously have to swing the KC shift down to get 6012 I'm not going to bother with a built-in offset for this as moving the KC shift isn't a problem with me so it's been suggested to me that we do something similar in, as the Superstar 2000 which basically is switching in some extra capacitance on the coils on the low and super low just to try and give them a little bit more range so that's done with a diode and a resistor and that's fed from the spare relay so let's have a look at some receiving so that was super low it got to low band on mid band helps if you put the correct frequency in it's high band uh, super high band and we don't need to check UK40 because we've already just checked that by going into super high. So now comes hours and hours out and hours of alignment, which I didn't film because it took absolutely forever to try and get this somewhat level. Now you're not going to get it perfect across all the bands bad enough trying to get it perfect across three bands let alone six bands so we've just had to get it as best as we can there's our channel 19 on UKFM it's receiving nicely so that's our modifications complete on the underside so a lot of work lots of extra wiring lots of extra boards but all in all it's turned out very well so we've transformed this poor old Ham International Jumbo into still an old Ham International Jumbo but we've actually improved on it now So we have six bands. I've added a little bit of white letter print to the front. That can easily be removed. Should I find something better? So there, that's our Ham International Jumbo finished finally. I know it's not taken long on video but this has been work in progress for weeks and it still needs more alignment but anyway hope you've enjoyed this series thanks for watching and we'll see you again